Welcome back. Today we are going to continue from lesson nine, but this time we're going to make negative sentences. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, there are multiple ways to make des negative in Japanese. Each one has a varying level of politeness. So here we have just the basic phrase, nickel des, which is, it is a cat, right? We learned this in lesson one. But if I want to say it is not a cat, first, the textbook way is neko de wa arimasen. This one is very polite and when in doubt, not bad to use. This is a good choice. If I want to make it a little more casual, I've got two different choices. I can choose to make the arimasen casual and keep the dewa. That's this one. Neko dewa nai. So dewa is the same. Arimasen became nai. Or I can keep the arimasen and change dewa to casual. Neko ja arimasen. So neko dewa nai and neko ja arimasen have pretty much the same level of politeness. Either one of these is good. Uh, now, these three, all three of them, they are making des negative, right? They are changing the verb here. The to be verb has become negative. But there is one more way that we can make things negative. This word means not. Janai. Janai. We can use this with des. We can say neko janai des. This also means it is not a cat, but it doesn't affect des. It is a standalone word. In fact, you can use this word by itself, but it will sound rude. So don't use it by itself. Always use it with des. But it is a standalone word. It is not a conjugated verb or anything. It just means not all by itself. I would say that this is the most common way to make something negative. You will hear the other forms. You will hear the conjugated des. Um, but janai is more common, uh, particularly in speech, like conversation. This is the phrase that we're going to practice today. Janai. Neko janai des. It is not a cat. It is a dog. All right. We have a full hiragana question. Hmm. Can you read it? What is it asking you? Usagi desu ka? Hmm. What is usagi? Usagi was one of your homework words. Did you study? Hmm. What is it? Usagi desu ka? Is it a rabbit? Is this a rabbit? No. How can I say it's not a rabbit? Ie. Usagi janai It is not a rabbit. How about this one? The question is, Shiro to kuro desu ka? Shiro to kuro desu ka? Is it white and black? What do you think? It is white, but it's not black. How can I say no? It's not black. Ie. Kuro janai desu. So what color is it? It's not black. So what is it? Shiro to ao desu. Right? It is white and blue. Now, time for a cultural note. Japan is a very polite country. So words like kirai and especially daikirai uh, can sound too harsh. Instead, we can actually use the negative forms of like and dislike. So instead of saying I dislike it, I can say suki janai desu. I don't like it. Those are different. I dislike it is different from I don't like it. Those are different. And I don't like it sounds a little bit kinder, a little bit. Then we can be a little bit wishy-washy if we want to. And we can say, kirai janai desu. I don't dislike it. Right? This is a great way to get out of a difficult question. Your, your friend is really excited to go see this new movie. 
and you're not really into it, they ask you at the end of the movie, did you like it? And you say, well, I didn't dislike it, right? It's a great way to kind of avoid that awkward question. Kidaigenitis, I don't dislike it. Let's practice a bit and we are almost done. We have yasai ga suki desu ka? Yasai ga suki desu ka? Does he like vegetables? Yasai ga suki jinai desu. He doesn't like vegetables. This one, we've got a meme. We have when you're eating at your friend's house and pretending to like the food, right? Your friend asks you, does it taste okay? Do you like it? <laughs> Tabemono ga suki desu ka? Do you like the food? How can you say, I don't dislike it? How can you say that? Tabemono ga kirai jinai desu. I don't dislike the food. I don't like it, but I don't dislike it. All right, we have some new words that you can read. Pause the video, take a minute, see if you can read them on your own. Are you ready? First up, we have nagai. Nagai, it means long. Then we have netsu. Netsu, that means fever. This one's very similar, but a little different. Natsu. Natsu is summer. Then we have, ah, look here, we have a little tsu. What do we do when there's a little tsu? We need to pause. So what's this one? Niki. Niki. It means diary. Then we have nodo. Nodo, throat. And last one, nugu. Nugu, undress. And last but not least, here is your homework. This was a very short little lesson, but I hope you enjoyed it and feel like you're making some progress. Remember, if you need more practice, get the book. It has so many practice questions. It is great for improving your memory if you're having trouble with that. Great, great, great resource, great tool. So if you're having trouble, get the book. It is worth it. And we are all done. It's time to say bye-bye, everyone. See you next time.